I will say Grace just, in my opinion, crushed it. Like she had a really great conversation. Yeah, she's she's first rate. Yeah, she's top of the food chain in the class. She's, awesome. she's right up at the top. So I'm glad you hear that. Thanks. Oh, absolutely. Matthew Mullins, Tom Hi. James. Oh, Matthew, pleasure to meet you. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you as well. Mind if I take a seat? No, go right ahead. All right. Give me one moment to get a set up here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So here's my business card for you. So you can get a hold of me whenever you like. Excellent. How's your day going so far? Oh, it has uh, it has been a long one, and I have uh, a couple more hours in front of me too. So okay, time is money, man. You gotta okay. get those billables. Absolutely. So we'll try to make this uh, quick and easy for you. Basically, I uh, just wanted to tell you that I recently spoke with your father, uh, Mark Kramer, mm -hmm. who's a senior partner in your law firm, and he said that he wanted to insist that you meet with me just to talk about your wardrobe and maybe see what we can do for you. So with that being said, I wanted to congratulate you. Recently, I heard that you were won the moot court at the Harvard, at, you know, in the law school at Harvard, which is excellent. Also, you were the uh, top law review editor. How did you actually get to achieve that, you know, being a law review editor at Harvard? Oh, man, uh, hard work. Hard work, huh? <laughs> I mean, no social life in school. No social life. And, uh, I mean, really putting it there of uh, getting it done with my eye on the prize here and okay. then uh, of where I want to go with my life. Okay. So you probably have a really strong work ethic then. Oh, absolutely. I so, guess, you know, that's... Like I said, man, time, time is money, and it's uh, yeah, I definitely kind of took the meeting uh, as a courtesy to my dad. Okay. Of uh, he's in sales. Okay. He's used you guys for a long time. Believes I should dress better because he's gonna get me to the top. I don't know. So, okay. we'll see. All right. Well, just to touch on that idea, like you know, I'm sure like many law firms with their clients, they want to establish a long-term relationship with them. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, that's at Tom James. That's what we value. We develop, we value long-term partnerships. We don't want to just you know sell you something and then hit the road. We want to take care of you, make sure all your needs are met, and always be accessible to you to not only deliver you a fine product but also a fine service as well. Uh -huh. So. Furthermore, I'd just like to say that, you know, since I'm respectful of your time, I'm just going to go over a few things that I'd like to discuss, um, short and sweet. Just want to ask you a few questions, kind of gauge a little bit more about where you are right now in your practice and what you're looking to do. And also just do a quick presentation that I've prepared for you to show you what we can offer you. Okay. And does that sound okay? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, basically, I just wanted to begin by asking you, do you can currently consult anyone for fashion advice? <laughs> um. I guess a little for the guys in the office. I wouldn't say consult. I mean, okay. I get uh, they bust my chops about it. I am, okay. uh, I'm not going to win the uh, most stylish lawyer in the uh, office award. That's okay. not going to happen. Would Would that be something that you would want to win? Um, honestly, I, I just feel it'd be like way too much money to get there. Of I really don't care about my fashion. It's more okay. of that. It's purposeful. I have to be in a suit. I'm a lawyer. I have to be in court. I need to look the part there, and then. I'm out in the field, so I'm like, I also don't want to be dying in a suit either. So Certainly. it's, uh, I mean, it's Florida, it's hot, it's humid, mm -hmm. and every once in a while we're out there talking about a highway proposal and how this will affect everything. And I'm talking to some guy that's in jeans and a dry fit polo, and I'm dying in my suit. So I know the feeling. You don't mind if I take notes through me, do you? Oh, no, absolutely not. Excellent. All right. Well, would it feel good for you to, uh, you know, walk into work dressed fresher than everybody else there. After you know, seeing as how they kind of poke fun at you, that would be kind of a nice way to get it back at them, wouldn't it? Uh, it would be. Um, I could definitely see that. It's uh, the bigger thing is if somebody gives me a hard time about my suit. I mean, Johnny the other day said something, and I'm like, yeah, how are your billables this month? Oh, yeah, they're like 40% of mine. Like, my work speaks. I went to Harvard. I did my time. I, I mean, I'm here. And now it's the next step, and that's where I want to go. 
Okay. Want to go up the ladder so then I can get off the ladder and I can go buy a boat and I can sail my happy ass around the world. That sounds good to me. So uh, money's a big thing. I slam everything into retirement because the okay. quicker it builds, the quicker I get out. Okay. So you would say that investing in your future is very important to you? Oh, absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, what would you say? Would you say right now that you would have an adequate wardrobe to fulfill the role of a junior or senior partner that you're looking to aspire to? Whew, um, I hadn't thought about it like that. I mean, I have a bunch of suits, mm -hmm. so I'm good there for, I guess, what I'm doing now. I mean, I really hadn't thought about uh, moving up the chain of kind of the the upping my dress to, to go with it. Okay. Um, no, so I'd probably say there's a couple gaps there as I move up, but I mean, right now I'm really solid. And okay. I mean, that was so hard of my dad going to take the meeting. I'm like, I have suits. I don't need suits. And I'm like, I'm, I'm good. So, but he's a fan, so. Okay. All right. Well, how would you say, you know, we touched that you want to move up the ladder mm -hmm. in, in, your, in your company. And I think that you've also said that it's really important that, you know, you, you keep working hard and you continue staying with a strong work ethic. Do you think that, you know, it could possibly be a risk if your wardrobe did not resemble your level of knowledge and expertise that you possess in the law field? Um, it could. It's a, uh, it's a little interesting of where we are because it's uh, being environmental again. We're out in the field, so we need that versatility towards it. Okay. So a lot of the times we're out there, and it's uh, fine. I may have a, a really nice suit on, but my jacket's hanging up in my car, uh -huh. or I'm here in the office, and my jacket's hanging in the back of the door. Because it's so hot outside. Absolutely. And then it's uh, I guess it is a little bit different with court of uh really being in there or if we're at another firm's deposition. I mean, there's lots of areas where, yeah, I do need to step it up. And I guess that is a little bit of a challenge for me. Okay. All right. Well, basically, if we're going to try to, I know you said money is a big deal with you. Mm -hmm. So let's try to monetize the situation a little bit. I was going to say, how much would you say that one hour of your time is, work, is worth? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> What the firm's billing for it, or what it's, uh, what I take home, um, I will put it at a couple hundred bucks. A couple, that's like two hundred dollars. Sure. Okay. So if you were to, let's say, I know shopping. I'm a guy too. I understand shopping's a hassle. You got to go out, and drive somewhere. You got to find the clothes. You got to try them on, and you know if they don't fit, you got to take them back. How much? How much? time do you think you'd have to spend doing that to get a, a few more suits six seven eight hours I don't think I'm that bad at it okay I just try to be in and out and done in and out and done so I mean maybe a couple hours at best okay um, I try to get it right the first time maybe if something's a little off I suck it up and I deal with it okay it's just one of those things of no I don't want to go fight through that crowd I understand. I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to get the sharky guy when I walk in there that tells me I need five more ties to go with my ten new shirts to go with my two new suits. I'm like, listen, man, Certainly. I need two new suits. That's Certainly. why I'm here. Okay. Not A, B, C, D, E. Mm -hmm. If I need shirts, I would have came in and said, hey, I need to get some shirts. Not, I need to get two suits. Mm -hmm. So, okay. it's that constant upsell. And it's just, it's salesmanship. It's, I understand people have jobs to do and there's a reason that they have a two for one sale or whatever it is to get me in the door. But it's like, let me get to that and let me get back out. So it's always a contest there. Okay. Well, I just wanted to touch on that. One of the things that at Tom James that we pride ourselves on is the level of service that we provide to our clients. And a benefit is the fact that we would come to you actually with presentations of different types of suits or ties or whatever it is that you know you wanted to uh, purchase or look at or try on that day. We also come to measure you and we also hand deliver the clothes to you wherever you would like at your office or at your home because we know how valuable your time is. It is money because if you know you're out shopping, you know that could you know that's four hundred dollars you could have been making for two hours shopping I mean, you know, could have been making that money at the law firm and you know yeah. help to further your career so just to let you know we really take that seriously and that's one of the very important things about our business model so is there anything that I haven't covered that maybe uh, that we should discuss about things that you're looking to take care of um, hmm. I guess it's that versatility of the field, like that's okay. a key thing. Um, again, I'm super frugal with my money, so I want a good deal on it. I guess the other thing is, I don't want to go buy some fancy new suit and then it's going to be in the cleaners every week. 
Absolutely. Or it's to mean the cleaners every month or whatever it is. And like, that's just another cost that just keeps piling on money and that's not what I'm after. Certainly. Um, I mean, I want it quick and easy and that it's out of sight and out of mind and I can go on to the next thing. So uh, that, that's, I'd probably say the, the only, uh, the only really other thing that kind of comes to mind on it. All right, well, let me just show you a couple examples of some things that we could possibly do for you really fast. Okay. Let's only just take a moment. This is basically just to explain to you how our fitting and sales process works. Okay. So this would be giving you a good idea of what would happen. First, we would give to consultation. So that's when we would ask you, like you, you earlier mentioned, you said you wanted to have like two suits. And the good thing about the consultation is our tailors and our clothers listen to what you want. If you know, I understand that can be really annoying when you walk into Joseph A. Bank and they're trying to sell you, you know, four suits for the price of one, and all you wanted was some slacks or some shoes and it can kind of, and it also wastes your time. So we really care about the client and we always want to make sure their needs are met. Like I said before, we you know, do the custom fitting and the measurement for the client in the comfort of their own office or home and also have a lifetime guarantee that stands by all of our products. So we know you are spending a good deal of money on these fantastic clothes, so we want to make sure that they have a lifetime guarantee. And basically, what I would recommend if you wanted to if you wanted to look at a package that we have that might suit your convenience if I can get it to come up here not behaving there we go I think I finally got it Right? So I don't think you're looking to spend too much money right now because you want to be frugal. So I just wanted to show you that we have a, a wide range of spectrum of products that can even maybe you know get that promotion later on in your career and you have a little bit more money to spend. You know, you can up to our classic packages, which are going to be a little bit more expensive. But right now I'll just introduce you to our value packages, which also include uh, suits that are off the hook, which are not custom fitted. So you know if you're kind of an average sized guy, you can also do that and save, you know, a decent amount of money if that's what you're looking to do. So we have several different uh, ranges of brands that you can choose from. I would recommend uh, the designer classics here. These are just some outstanding clothes. Well, yeah, because you clicked value packages and the top one is 2600 and I mean, I can probably save us both some time and go, I'm out at 2600 Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't start off with that. First, you know, I would I would recommend one of the lower ones, and you know the tailor fit and the ca casual fit, so less than, less than a thousand. So, and that's an outstanding you know group of suits there. And that these packages include two suits. So, and you would also tell your tailor what kind of tie you wanted. That includes the whole package. So, basically, I was hoping that if there's any other questions or concerns that you have, I'd like to ask you now. Like, oh man, I'd say the big one's still the money. So you're saying it's so I'm looking at nine ninety nine a suit. Uh, that is a yes. That is nine ninety nine suit, and that's for the second two highest. And it also ranges like you know the tailor, the casual. If you didn't want to get the tailored, it would be seven fifty. So here's some pictures of those actually. Let's see what else. The colors of the fabric. You know we try to do everything to make sure that all the details are met to your specifications. And here's the different finally the different of the pictures, of the different uh, packages rather. You know, so 749 would get you two trousers and two shirts. And then it goes on up from there. And then the tailored ones are a little bit more expensive because there's a lot higher, higher amount of value that we deliver on those. So. See, this is when it gets into a, a little bit more. Two of these suits are the custom tailored corporate image, and that starts at twenty nine thirty. So, do you say that was a little bit out of your range? Oh, I mean, it's it's not the fact that I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, I mean, three grand. That's a big chunk into retirement. It is, but think about the increased amount of revenue you could generate for yourself and your father's firm if you know you increased your image to help boost your chances of getting that promotion up to a junior partner. Yeah, um, I guess one thing. So I guess I didn't catch before. So my, my dad's actually not a partner in the firm. Like okay. he's a 
outside salesperson. That oh, okay. it's just, uh, it's, I guess, where you guys know each other from. So okay, I'm sorry, I must have misunderstood. No, um, I mean, even on the other direction, man, that's uh, three grand. Is I can uh, go roll out to the old Jose Bank. Or I mean, really slumming at Men's Warehouse. I mean, that gets me in five suits. Mm-hmm. I mean, ballpark off the cuff. Okay. Somewhere in there. So I think that's just too rich for my blood. I, I don't think that's where I want to be. Okay. Well, what would be more within your uh, budget that you would like to be spending? I mean, even the grand's pushing the high end for a complete suit of okay. like the packages and everything else. Um, I mean, I'd really like to kind of start slow. Of uh, I'd like to see a suit somewhere in that five, maybe seven fifty range. Okay. I guess the internet won't stick to its time today. Uh. We can get you started with one suit here on the value package that is one complete suit with the coat, the trouser, the shirt, and the tie for only eight fifty. How does that sound? That's not as quiet as that that two thousand that kind of knocked it down a little bit for you. Um, yeah, it's a little bit closer. Um, I don't know, man. That's still super expensive to where we are with everything. Okay. Well, how about this? Um, I can come back to you in maybe a week or two when you got some free time and I can get your measurements and fit you up and then that way I can give you a more specific idea of what we can do for you. Would you be interested in setting up a time for that meeting in the future? Um, if it's a meeting, you do measurements and everything, if I, if I can't get behind this price, I mean, I'm just not going to be there for it. I'll, I mean, it's not worth the investment to get fitted if uh, I think that's out of my ballpark price-wise okay. uh, of what I can get from a competitor. Well, the reason we do charge a lot is because of the level of service that we provide. And so going back to how, you know, we discussed earlier where, you know, you could spend a couple hours and that was, you know, monetizing that situation was about $400 of your time. So you maybe could take that into account also that into that, you know, price of 850 that you'd be saving that $400. So, yeah, that's a good point of not having to go deal with the store. Um, I will, uh, I guess I'll kind of meet you in the middle. I don't know if I'll necessarily agree to a fitting next time. Okay. But if you can give me a really cost breakdown of it all. Okay. Of, I like where your head's at of where you're going with the $400, that mm -hmm. it's my time. Mm -hmm. It is valuable. I don't want to go fight through the store. Like, I can see that. Um, if you have something else where you can kind of break down of why, why do I want to pay that extra 800 Okay. I would consider it. Um, if it's a solid pitch the next time and, and things really make sense, then... Maybe we can move ahead with uh, with getting fitted. So okay, but yeah, I guess I'd be willing to meet again. Okay, excellent. All right, we'll go ahead and set that. I will call you later this afternoon to set a meeting with you. Okay. Um, you're not going to catch me this afternoon. I'm going to be in court. So okay, what would be a good time for me to call you? Um, I would actually follow up with the secretary on the way out. Okay, and just uh, tell her that uh, I said that I can do a meeting two weeks out, two whatever weeks out. day is free on my calendar after four o'clock. And uh, just that 4 to 4.30. All right. That sounds perfect. I'll make that happen for you. And I'll bring a very detailed breakdown of all the prices and everything. So that way we can work something out in the future, okay? Oh, absolutely. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time once again. Oh, definitely. And, uh, you know, I definitely look forward to doing business with you in the future. Cool. I appreciate it, Matthew. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You too as well. like dinner.